Hi everybody, welcome to Karen Sizzle and Spice. Thanks for visiting. Today we're gonna to make chicken tortilla soup. It's one of my favorites, my husband's absolute favorite. And I don't know about where you live, but where we live, it's cold and damp a lot of the time. And there's nothing better for lunch than a nice hot bowl of soup. So these are the ingredients that you're gonna need. You'll need about two pounds, one to two pounds of chicken. I like to use chicken breast. If you prefer to use thighs, you can. We're gonna use a couple cloves of garlic. We're gonna use one medium chopped onion, one red bell pepper. We'll be using cumin, which gives this soup a nice smoky flavor. We'll be using some poultry seasoning. Uh, chipotle and adobo we'll be using. Uh, some corn, a lot or a little. We can use uh, 16 ounces of tomato sauce and a large can of stewed tomatoes, 28 ounces. We'll also be using about four cups of chicken broth, salt and pepper, uh, some oil, and uh, let's get started. I don't know about you guys, but I go through phases where I have a favorite food that I just can't get enough of. Right now, it's red bell pepper, and I'm really glad it's in this soup. So I'm gonna start by putting this on an open flame right on my stove here on medium, and I'll be turning it every minute or two while I prep all the other items. Another tip for you in the kitchen, before you put your cutting board out on your counter, fold the dish towel in half, lay it down and put your cutting board right on top. This prevents it from moving around as you're chopping and dicing your foods. I'm just cutting up my chicken breast now. I'm gonna make it into nice bite-sized pieces. If there's any extra fat on the chicken, I'll cut that off as well. After I cut the chicken, of course, I will need to wash this board and then I will be able to cut the rest of the ingredients. I'm just gonna cut up my ingredients here. There's all sorts of ways to cut an onion. This is the way I like to cut them. I just cut both ends off and I cut each half in half and then I toss out the outer layer. I'll throw all this onto my garbage bowl, get it out of the way. And then I hold the onion like this, a couple of cuts this way, a couple of cuts this way. And then you've got some nice pieces of chopped onion. And if you like them chopped a little smaller, chop them a little smaller. That's all. Here's the other half. This is why I like the big board because I can have several cut items on here and just move them to the different areas of the board. Okay, I'm just gonna move this over, ready for the soup. And now I'm going to chop up the garlic. Again, there's a lot of ways to do this. This is the way I like to do it. I just take a small paring knife and poke it in, in between the cloves. And it kind of cracks right open. Sometimes the first one might be the hardest one to get out, but you see it pops right out this way. I'll get another one. These are big cloves, so I'm just gonna use two of those. So I cut off each end, and here's this thing with me and garlic. I love the flavor of garlic, but I do not like a big chunk in my mouth. So I don't like to just slice it, I, or even chop it by hand. I like all my garlic minced, and it blends in terrifically as well with whatever recipe you're using it on. Okay, let me get this peel off into the garbage bowl we go. There we go. And then I have my favorite garlic press. I've had this one for years. I adore it. I think it was made by the Frugal Gourmet, if anybody's that old as me to remember the Frugal Gourmet. My husband sometimes wants me to get new gadgets, but I say, hey, this one works fabulous. Okay. And of course you wanna get all the goodness off of the garlic press. Let's get the rest of the peels off of here. Sometimes they're too large to even put into the press. So I cut them in half. 
almost cut my finger. Good save, Karen. And there we go. And there we go. And again, just brush off all the excess. And then I'm going to cut up the chipotle and adobo. Now this is very smoky. It can give a lot of heat to your soup. So I, even in a big pot that I'm going to make of soup, I prefer just one large chipotle and adobo. I don't even touch it with my fingers because heaven help you if you put those fingers anywhere near your eyes after you've cut this, I'm thinking there might be an issue there. Eyes watering and pain. And I prefer not. So there's my chipotle and adobo is ready to go. Now remember I told you about the red pepper? Look at how I charred it. But you can't really burn it too much. This is how I cut my red bell pepper. I just cut right around the seeds and the stem and shake off the water in my garbage bowl. And then I'm just gonna cut these small like everything else. I've got about three tablespoons of oil in the pot that are good and hot. Whoa, you drop the chicken in, be careful. Don't get splashed. Try to get all the chicken pieces on the top surface so they will cook. The soup is great. It really doesn't take too long to make. Once you've got all your ingredients ready to go, I call that my mise en place. You don't want to be stopping to chop ingredients in the middle of a recipe, so you want to have everything ready to go when you start cooking. Then it's right next to you. Okay, we're gonna give that just a minute or so to brown just a bit. Now that all the chicken's in there, it's cooled off some. So I turned up the heat a little bit and now I'm just going to move the chicken around a little bit. You can see. Okay, you can see almost all the pink is gone from the chicken. That's all we really needed to do now. We don't want the chicken to get too dried out actually. So now that it's turning on pink, let's add the veggies. I'm first gonna add all the onion. I'm going to add all the garlic that I minced, and I'm going to add the, whoops, the chipotle in adobo. That goes in the pot. And now we're going to put some seasoning in. We'll put a little salt and pepper in, but remember, this won't be the last time we salt and pepper. We're just going to give it a good shake to start. I like using my coarse sea salt. Then I'm going to give it some shakes of pepper. And again, remember, we will taste a tweak later on when the soup is all put together. And if we need to add more salt and pepper, we can do it then. But it's better to be adding more than to have to take any out to have overdone it. Now for a couple more spices, we're gonna put in about a teaspoon of cumin. That's what my recipe calls for. But you know what? I really love the smoky flavor. So I'm gonna add about another half a teaspoon because I love it. Then, you know that poultry seasoning that you only use it Thanksgiving, well, you can use it in this soup. A nice heaping teaspoon we're gonna put in there. Then we are going to give this a good stir. And we're gonna let this cook down for about three more minutes. And then I will be back to show you how we finish putting this soup together. You can see how the gravy from the spices has gotten a little brown. I only wish you had smell of vision This smells so good. Now that the chicken is pretty much cooked, I'm gonna add some other ingredients now. I'm gonna add up those tomatoes that I smashed up with my immersion blender, a whole can. I'm gonna add eight or 16 ounces of tomato sauce. I'm going to add that fabulously charred red pepper. That is my favorite flavor in the whole soup. I knew that. It is a good flavor, isn't it? It's so different. Okay, all we need to add now 
I only had a large can of corn and I don't like too much corn in here, so I'll use about half of it. And then we'll save the rest for another day. Oh, and the chicken broth. We're gonna add four cups of chicken broth. One of these boxes is exactly four cups. Oh yeah. Sometimes I add even a little bit more chicken broth. Makes the soup go a little bit further. I'm gonna give this a good stir and I'm gonna let it come to a simmer and there'll be one more step to complete this soup. Looks like the soup is just starting to simmer. And this isn't a long cooking soup. There's no reason to cook this for hours at all. Good, I'm glad you said that because I am dying to have some right now. Okay, it'll be another five, 10 minutes, hon, and we will sit down and have a bowl. We'll see how it tastes, okay? Sounds good. But right now, what I'm gonna do to add more flavor and kind of a creamy coolness to the soup, I've put about three quarters cup of sour cream in this mixing bowl, and I'm gonna take some of the broth from the soup because if I were to add it right to the soup, it might curdle. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna whisk it up with the chicken, with the soup broth there until it's nice and smooth. There we go. Gonna get it nice and smooth. And then we're gonna pour it as we mix right into the soup. Oh yeah. Look at that beautiful color. And look at those black spots from the red bell pepper. Mm, my favorite. <laughs> I love that. Okay, I'm gonna taste it now. Let's see if it needs a little salt and pepper. Let me try it. Mmm. Ooh got that little bite of heat which I love but it does need a little more pepper like I said before it's better to put in too little salt and pepper than too much because you take, can't take it back out but you can certainly add and this needs a good chunk of salt that should do it I'm gonna give it one more stir and then we're going to let it simmer for five minutes or so, and then we're gonna have a bowl of soup. Thanks again for helping me film today, honey. Of Couldn't course. do this without you. Of course. The soup is ready to go. Let's get some in a bowl. I like to use my slotted spoon first to make sure we get a lot of the chicken and vegetable goodness before I put all the broth on top. And then I'm gonna take a couple of ladles full of broth. I wish you could smell it in here. It smells wonderful. I'm gonna add some of my cheddar cheese. And I like to take our favorite tortilla chips and crunch them on the top. You can add a little green onion to the top. You could even add sour cream if you like. But I don't think we can wait. Let's taste it in. Yeah. Let's taste, tell me what you think. Mmm, mmm. That smokiness kind of gets you right in the back of your mouth, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really good. Delicious. Okay. It's really a whole bunch mm. of flavors. Okay, I know you're anxious. You could take this to the table in just a minute. Okay, we're gonna have lunch now. If you like what you've seen today, please subscribe to my page. Leave me a comment. Let me know you've been here. And remember, you eat with your eyes first, so why not make it beautiful? See you next time. Bye-bye.